So, you want spaghetti, but you don't have any Parmesan cheese. And we all know, without Parmesan cheese, spaghetti is just not as fun. Hey guys, I'm Mike by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make a circle, how to pixel art a circle at different resolutions, uh, different sizes. This is something that I've seen a lot of people struggle with in the past. It always winds up looking too sharp or not round enough or whatever. But I have a very super easy tip for you to make a circle, um, a pixel art circle today. So... We're going to start off with uh, the smallest typical size that's, that's used in pixel art, which is 16 by 16. Um, and now you can see here, uh, we have a nice little canvas. If I just drew a circle, it would look, you know, kind of flicted. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and up at the top of a sprite or any other application, there is some symmetry tool. But in, the, in a sprite, it's right here. So go ahead and hit toggle symmetry, horizontal and vertical. Now this will be super, super easy because it'll like copy everything we do. Um, so if I put a pixel there, I'll put one there and there. So you can see, um, I'm going to go ahead and put two pixels on the left and the right of the blue. And essentially what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, kind of split this in half. So there's there's four pixels up top. We're going to do, just do two here, right? Just do two. Um, and you can see here, if we were to go ahead and continue this, like if we were to do two, then two, it, it's starting to look a little, you know, cubish it looks it looks like round if we were to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to try and create a nice a, a smoother fall off because if we were just do just to do two this is not a big enough like surface area so we would have to do like four on this side and then we would do two two here and then one one there that's that's a pretty nice circle okay so you can you can do this kind of circle so essentially what i'm saying is everything just needs to be equal it all needs to be equal on all sides so that's once again let's go ahead four pixels on all sides and then we do two there two on the other side, and then one pixel there, and one pixel there to create a nice little circle. This is a really nice circle, but we can do this a different way. So let's say you want this circle to have a little bit more volume. Let's go ahead and um, add two pixels, or add one pixel on all sides. So then we would just do two there, two there, and then one in the middle. So it's a little thicker now. It's a little thicker um, than it was before. And then anything past that, I think it'll start looking a little too squarish, because you would have to do something like that, which, I mean, that's, you know, it's still a circle, but it looks kind of rectangular, uh, squarish at this point. So, um, this is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go back to the uh, the old strat, which is this one right here. I like this one a lot. This one looks pretty cool. I like that one. So we're gonna leave this one. And what we're gonna do? What we're gonna do is um, let's take a look at this one again. Actually, ah, we'll leave this one. This one looks good. This one looks good for now. So we'll do this one and we'll leave that. I'm gonna open up a new file and we're gonna create this uh, 32 by 32. Now it's gonna be the same exact principles. It's just gonna be a, a little bit bigger, like actually like, twice as big. So let's go. To, let's go ahead and instead of doing one, two, three, four, five, maybe five pixels. So it's going to be ten across, five on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll we'll do this. We'll slightly slope this off. So instead of doing th uh, uh, five, we'll do one, two, three. We'll do three. One, two, three on this side. One, two, three on this side. Then one, two, one, two, and then one 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 and that makes a nice little circle now this is looking a little rectangular a little squarish so what we can do is we can kind of cut back on some of these so let's go ahead and undo the three and we'll do two there and then we'll do two again and then we'll do one 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 and that looks like a really nice circle so essentially what i'm trying to what i'm trying to tell you is that you usually want to have um the further you get to the center of connecting these two pieces, so this piece down here and this piece up here, you're going to want to have less and less and less um, pixels. So we have five pixels to start off with, right? So we have five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we have uh, two, then two, then one, one. Um, and that's the slope that we're using on this this um, circle for 32 pixels. And the reason for this is because the bigger something is, the more space we're going to need to cover. So we're going to need to have more lines. Now, we could have went with the three, the three pixels up top here. But it did kind of look a little squarish when I did that. So uh, you just take a step back. You just take a step back and just look at it. Take a look at it. See how squarish or how non-squarish it really looks. And then finally, we'll do... The last size I'm going to do, which is, of course, 64 by 64. Um, so, this is a big boy. Let's go ahead and get this one started. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult. So, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm going to do maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe. And we'll do one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's going to be two squares. We'll do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Was it seven? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll copy this on this side. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and we'll kind of get a feel for how this is going to look here. Um, maybe one more two, and then we'll just go in with the oop, with the threes here. So we have two twos and then one there, and then we'll do something like. It's a little uneven though, you can see. So what we have here is the issue that we're having now, the even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it is, it is eight, that's why it's off. I was gonna say the issue we're having now is that it is off center, so I've messed one of these up. All right, so we have, what is this, three, then three, then two, then two, and then we can connect that up. And now this is looking kind of flat here, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of um, get rid of these and we'll kind of pull this inwards. And I think we're going to have to go with a longer piece there. So we'll do three threes, two, two, not two twos. And then we'll just do, we'll connect that there. And then we'll kind of maybe slope this down like like this. So essentially what I'm doing here is as you can see, we're kind of just playing around with some things and then taking a step back and looking at it and taking a step back and looking at it. And this is kind of what you do with any pixel art, but I just don't like the way this is looking a bit flat as you can see on the sides there. It's looking slightly flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of raise this a little bit. So we're going to do one, two, like that. Three twos, three twos. Okay, it's not too bad. And then maybe we'll do something like this. And oop, no, push it out one more. Like that. Ooh, that's a little, it's sticking out a little bit now. All right. Nice. So it's kind of like a trial and error um, uh, sort of process, which is what I really like about pixel art, actually. actually. Um, ooh, go back to there. I do like this, but it looks kind of flat. So how can we maybe shave this down like that? Um, and that's looking a little bit better. I do like that quite a bit. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. All right, so we have what's this? Three, three, two, two, three, three, two, two. You can even pull it back one more, actually. Honestly. Ooh, it's looking really flat now, actually. Yeah, no, we'll go back to that. I do enjoy this. I think I like the style of having it all even on every side, essentially, is what I'm trying to trying to get at here. So I think it looks really good. Um, right there like that, like, like this. It is all very, very even. And if we were to go ahead and maybe uh, double this up real quick, you can see that we have a lot of space to work with, depending on what we're using this pixel art for, obviously. Um, I'm going to double this line up real quick because it's so big. Um, I'm going to overlap each one as well. Pull it down a little bit like this. And, and there we go. That should be good to go. Nice. So that's really good. This is a really, really nice circle here. This is a very, very big pixel art size um, to use. But like I said, we have uh, the 16 pixels, we have the 32 pixels, and then we have the 64 pixels. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something new about a little bit of uh, trial and error in creating shapes, which is, can, like I said, can be super difficult, especially at these higher resolutions here. But um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight to use these, um, use these symmetry tools. Kind of take a step back, zoom, zoom in and out, you know, see what's going on from a couple of different uh, sizes. Because as you know, pixel art is usually going to be viewed at as a smaller rate and not super big like this. So make sure it looks good, small, and you are golden. So I hope you learned something new today. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.